Hello there. Welcome once again to our tutorial. And uh, we just want to finish off what we started in our previous tutorial on functions. But um, the difference being that um, for this time around, we would want to get into code blocks and um, ensure a running program. Probably today we are even going to combine it by showing something, a technique that is also very much used in C and a technique that is known as recursion. So before we even get to that recursion, we just want to to get into that program that we did, but we did not run, we did not see the results of the of the program. This is what we have here. We have our hash include, we have our function prototype and I'm sure we explained this that it is very very necessary to have that in your C to define your function we also rushingly so we tried to highlight the function types that we have in C apart from whether it be user defined or it be inbuilt we also say there is a way in which if you are looking at a function you can have a function with no arguments and no return value and um, that is the function that would say would be void here and then would be void also when it comes to your to your arguments or your parameter list so this is um, this is the same as our parameters that is that is the arguments so we also then have a function which has no parameters or no arguments but which has a return value we can have a function that has arguments and no return value where the return type is void we can also have um, a function with arguments and with the return value just like the function that we have here where we have our return value or return type being int and our arguments we have two arguments and those arguments are of int type so that being said we then get into our main um, and we have variables that are local to the main we prompt the user to enter two numbers um, we are supposed to say enter two numbers we then prompt the user to do so and uh, the two variables are n1 and n2 we scan that and then after scanning we then say assign a value to sum and that assignment is being done by a function call and in this function call we then say we then seed the control of the execution to the function or to the function definition so the compiler jumps to where the function was defined and as it is doing so it passes the values of n1 and n2 to a and b respectively so n1 is going to be passed to a and n2 is going to be passed to b. Um, if we were going to have three parameters here, in that particular order, it was going to pass the first one, the second one, and also the third one. Um, it is not uh, proper for us to have a function call that has more parameters or that has less parameters in number value uh, than the parameters that we have in our function definition. So the number that we are using here for our call should be the same number as we as we uh, defined our function to be. Of course, we can then get to concepts like function overloading, where we can have a situation where we have multiple definitions. And when we have multiple definitions, the call will actually call the um, right the right definition. So we are going to have a parameter passing there. And then after parameter passing, we have a local variable int result. And then result is assigned a value a plus b. And then we return result. And we say it when we return the result here or we evoke uh, that particular return statement. What happens is execution is returned. And uh, execution is not only returned, but we are also returning with a value. And in this case, our value will be the value of result. So what will happen is... It will come back to this line of code and then to sum we are going to assign the value of result. So we come, we say this is like we have said, sum is assigned a value result. So it does that and then it prints up. 
out the sum then after printing out the sum we then have return zero and then we get out of the main function so let's just uh, try and debug to see what happens so this is how the the program should run we have um, enter two numbers and then we have our two numbers two and then uh, 56 so it is showing three I'm sorry if I said two so it's saying three plus 56 which the sum is 59 so that shows that that program that we did in our last tutorial actually works like we promised we would want also to show a concept known as recursion and uh, recursion um, I think if we were to put it in a very 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 simple language is when we take advantage of functions and then we have functions calling each other um, or will have a function calling itself I'm sorry for that and um, in this context we would want to use a function to call itself to solve uh, a factorial problem we want to solve a factorial problem so we have um, our normal program and we are including the standard input output header file we also then have a long int factorial int and uh, this as we have said before this is a function prototype and the return type in this case is going to be long int the reason why we decided to use a qualifier long for our int in this case is because we we note that factorials can be very 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 huge numbers which in that sense they might go beyond the range provided for by the int data type so in that regard we would want to have long so as to qualify our int so that it be able to uh, have a wider range so we have that as our prototype we're also going to take one parameter which is of the type int we then get into our int main our int main we declare a variable num and then we uh, prompt the user to enter a number we should be able to accept the number or to uh, scan the number and then after scanning the number we're saying here print f the factorial of percentage d is long d and uh, on this particular percentage d we are going to have our num and is we are going to have our factorial uh, num so what factorial num will do this is a function call so it is going to be calling um, the factorial uh, function and as we said when we do a function call what we are doing is we are ceding the control of execution to the function definition so it jumps to the function definition so it comes long int uh, factorial int x so when it um, checks and it finds out that here we are using int x like we said before it does what is known as parameter passing or argument passing and in this case we are still going to be doing passing by value so the value of num is going to be passed to x the value of num is going to be passed to x and then it gets inside the function it says if um, x is greater than 1 return x times factorial x minus 1 and this is the interesting part that we have this is where um, the, the recursion is going to, to okay so what it will do in this case I'll use an example I'll use an example for this and um, let me just write it here and then comment it out let's say the value of num after scanning we had scanned 5 what it will do is when it gets to the function definition it is going to pass 5 to num to x sorry for that to pass 5 to x and then is 5 greater than 1 yes it is 5 5 is greater than 1 so it returns 5 times factorial 5 minus 1 which is factorial 4 so on factorial 4 what happens is the function then calls itself so after calling itself it comes again in the second run remember it still has our 5 times but now the value of x is 4 
and then times it returns factorial 3 right and then it comes again it does another equation it says 5 times 4 times 3 times factorial 2 which is 2 times 1 like that so it goes 5 times uh, 4 times 2 times 1 and apparently that is actually the value that we're looking for that is actually the factorial of a number so in other words we are using recursion in this sense to try and calculate the factorial of a number it then says else return one in other words in this case for this particular program our program is going to uh, be returning one for negative numbers it is also going to be returning one for zero let's just try it let's build and run and see please enter a number let's enter a simple number like five it says the factorial is 120 i'm sure this can be confirmed as the factorial of that particular number just to finish off with our equation you would also find we might want to just go through a program that is um, calculating the highest common factor um, or the greatest common divisor and um, we would want to show how you can do that using recursion so we have our prototype and then we then get into our int main where we are going to be prompting the user to enter two positive integers of which from the two possible uh, positive integers that's where we would want to find the greatest common divisor and then after doing that we then get to our function call we are doing a function call here and then after the function call we are then doing the function definition and in our function definition this is what we are going to have we're going to have our highest common factor and we are passing um, those two those two parameters after passing the two parameters it should then be able to to do the calculation of the highest common factor and using recursion it is the function is going to be to be calling itself um, now having n2 um, with the n1 module plus of n2 and then it will repeat until the factors um, n2 and the 1. And that way it will then go out and it will then give you the highest common factor.